Hi, this is Mr. Fleming, and this video will be for my Art One Studio drawing class. Now, our last project we worked on perspective, and we used line and shape to create two point perspective. And we talked a lot about perspective and how we can do it. We made a point of talking about atmospheric perspective and how to use gradation of tone. Well, with this one, we're going to be using um, line, and that will be the element of art, and we're going to use the line to create movement and that's a principle of art. You should keep that in mind with any project. We should always be able to say the element to create a principle. Now everyone should have this in their sketchbook and everyone should be able to use this vocabulary and we're going to use line and we're going to try to create movement. In any project that we have in the art class Anybody should ask you, what's the element you're using and what principle you're trying to create? And we're going to be trying to create a movement with line. So with line is our element. And movement is our principle. So we're going to use line here. And over here I get a couple thumbnail sketches in which I have a character who moves closer to the frame, closer to the frame, and now he's popping out of the frame. In this one I have kind of a sun, and I want the rays to kind of blow in front of it, and they're just rough sketches. I'm going to work them out over here. Now before we get started, let's talk about our picture frame. Now, I clearly marked this out beforehand, and there's one picture frame right there. Now, the one thing I can do is make these lines, and that line has a specific weight. I can make that line less as we go back into space, and even less as we get back into space. Make it fainter. And that's going to give the illusion of space right away. And that will be basic linear perspective. Over here I have my character. And he's a person and he's running. And he's way back there in really the mid-ground. But he's back there in space. Over here my second frame. Again, I can use these lines to guide me. I can use the weight of the line to create the space. And now he's closer to my foreground. And there is my character. And he's running. He's coming closer to me in space. I know this because he's a little bit larger. And there he's coming in here. Here's my next frame. And again, I can still use those lines. And there's my space. And now he's dropping the figure. He's dropping below the picture frame, so I only see part of him. And over here, what I'll do is is make my character kind of come out of the picture frame. And he's grabbing on the outside. So there's my movement in four different frames. My character is small in the background. I have these different weight lines to help create linear perspective. He comes closer to my foreground. He's breaking into the foreground. He breaks, breaks the picture plane popping out. That's a simple way to create space. Let's work on one with just one frame. Now you can use movement or create movement with line relatively simply. Uh, we went through linear perspective and atmospheric perspective. Let's just kind of do this with just kind of some free flow lines. And I'm having the rays look like hair. 
It kind of just moves in front of the face. My sun face there. But already, even now, you can kind of see the movement happening. All right, so movement. I have two different designs now. I went from my thumbnails, went to my rough drafts. Here I get four quadrants. I have the person running close to, into my foreground, close to my foreground, close to my foreground, breaking through the picture plane. Over here I'm just using line. I'm not really using anything else. I'm bringing the rays in front of the face to give the illusion of wind. I have to work on that line back there a bit more for sure. But I'm looking for some creative ideas from you, not just one. I'm looking for thumbnails, I'm looking for roughs, and a final draft. You should have a final draft ready by January 11th when you come back to school. Please look at all the videos um, on the YouTube channel. This video needs to be watched during the class time that is scheduled. When you do the, um, the Google document, that gives me attendance. If you watch it before or after, you will not get um, credit for being in the class. As we're going remote, there are several rules we need to follow, and that is one of them. I'll do my best to make these videos and to make them relevant. But in the end, you have to work in that sketchbook. A final draft due by January 11th with thumbnails and roughs, but you are supposed to be working five hours in that sketchbook. So if the project gets done, that's great. I'll be able to see the work done. But if you are, um, if you have a home, you're supposed to be working in sketchbook with your own drawings, your own direct observation. Certainly drills can be done also. Those are always should be done. And I will make sure that I do work in my sketchbook so that we're all working because in the end, you have to make art because it won't make itself.